and I always had this thing to build an electric car and take it across country. That was my idea. An electric car that was home built to say to the world, why are we still driving gasoline cars? Oh, can you uh, show us a little bit more like the inside of the yeah, car here? Yeah, absolutely. Because it's an AC system, where do you put all the bloody batteries? And because I'm using industrial stuff, I have to give it the voltage it wants. You're doing that through the laptop? Yeah, there's a program that runs on it. Wow. So now I'll go further, I won't go as fast. Jake, our electric car builder, decided that he's unavailable because of uh, personal reasons. And I was flying out from Hawaii to film two days of him. Who's gonna be our main guy? We need to find a builder, so we're scrambling, we're scrambling. We should be able to go out and do things for ourselves, you know, take our rights and, you know, figure this stuff out and do it instead of just waiting for, for somebody else to. I've been driving this car for two years. This is Sophia, and after her ride home from the hospital, her second ride in a car ever was in an electric car. Um, we got some fries. I'm just gonna eat some of those. Oh, this is so American. Sit there in cars and eat fast food. Benjamin is our guy. He is our builder. He is the guy I want leading to build the green machine. Here's an organic food store right here. They do number five plastic recycling there. They also have a big electric outlet right out the back. And that's one thing I've said to them is, hey, you know, um, if you'd let me, could I put up a sign here that says electric vehicle charging station? Would you just let me plug into your electric outlet right here? And they're like, ah, it'd be no problem. Because of course, you know, they're promoting clean eating, clean living, and uh, you know, they want to do whatever they can help promote clean transportation. I just got a salad in there and I just don't want it to melt in your car. I'm here trying to shoot an electric car, but then Ken getting his salad, making sure we're preparing that. Now Ben's like going, hey. You oh, know. you want to throw that in my fridge? It's if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess the bottom line here is that when I go into neural shock, my brain doesn't work. I flew from Hawaii, and then now I'm driving out from Milwaukee to Oconomowoc to go shoot a salad. Well, I wasn't thinking about anything else going around me but that salad, and that's what happened. And basically, it's kind of the same thing I'm eating right here right now. So. It is good though. It's a four foot by 10 foot solar hot water panel. This is a 12 volt PV solar panel. This is about 15 watts. It's all electric, it's just batteries in there. Literally the thing's older than I am. And when I got it, I put a couple of batteries in there, turned the key and it drove. You would never expect that with a, a 30 year old gas lawnmower. This is urgent that we do this. Can you imagine having three children in this world and, and it's not going in the direction that you think it should for them? We should be doing this for the future kids and everybody should chip in. You realize the way that the world really is and you understand that you have to change. That's really what the Green Machine Experiment is all about.